Hey guys, thought I'd put up something a little bit more interesting than the tactical squad for this one. So this is my Doradio Dreadnought, who I lovingly refer to as Deirdre. And Deirdre is a staple in every list I take. It's such an amazing unit on the table, the Doradio Dreadnought. So for those who don't know, the main reason to take this beast is because of these puppies. Now these auto cannons, she's already at Ballistic Skill 5, so hitting on 2s. Twin linked, so re rolling, so two's re rolling, and then strength eight, AP four, heavy four, which is really nice. Plus, they have the Sunder special rule, which means they re roll armor penetration, which is absolutely amazing with four shots. The amount of times it's got whacked on has been unbelievable. And to top it all off, the missile launcher on the top here can fire independently at a separate unit at strength six, AP three, heavy three. And hits vehicles on the side, I believe. I'll just put that down quickly so you can see the top. Now, I'm going to go through my scheme more clearly and in detail on another video, but it's a pretty good time to describe it. It's basically Mephiston Red Base, and then for the shading, I actually use Gilliman Blue Glaze, as you can see here, just because I think it stands out a little bit more than Agrax or Null Oil. I don't go mad with it, I just apply it to the sort of the recessed areas like the um, these crevices near the head and on the missile launcher that you can see there and then it's a highlight of Evil Sun Scarlet on the edges followed by Fire Dragon Bright it's got quite a nice look to it I think and initially it's quite bright but then when I use the weathering powders I use it dulls it down quite a bit and gives it a closer look to Weird Bearers as opposed to something like Blood Angels as you can see, there's transfers on this one. Some sort of astrological symbols on the knee. The word bearer's symbol there on that one. There are some Colchisian runes on the torso and on the head again. I'll quickly turn around. On the leg, there's lots of flat surfaces on this, so I imagine it'd be quite a dream for people who are into freehanding a lot of things. It's a lovely model, it goes together great. I'll just pick her up and we'll have a more detail. There we go. I absolutely really, really enjoyed painting this one. Such a great kit to work with. Now I'm quite a fan of dreadnoughts as it is, but this one just looks so different from the usual dreadnoughts and the contempt of dreadnoughts. Wanted one since I saw them released. And it probably is my favourite model in my entire collection. Absolutely love this one. The base is a little bit smaller than they're supposed to come on. I think they're supposed to come on a 70 or 80 mil. This one's a 60 just because I wanted it to match the rest of my army with a the city theme bases. I gone for quite a simplistic one because I didn't want it to overshadow the model too much. She mostly hides out in ruins anyway, so it's not really seen that often. But yeah, that's Deidre, my better half. <laughs> right, so thanks a lot guys, cheers for watching. Ta